Hello, thank you for joining me. So this is our first video in the series on how to use PhotoView uh, 360 in SOLIDWORKS. And what we're going to be using it for is to make a decent rendering, a photo real rendering of our door model that we did last week. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do, well, the first thing you need to do is open up your model. I will go ahead and save it from your week two folder and then save it into your week three folder just so you have the original copy available. And then uh, let's go ahead and uh, load PhotoView 360. It's kind of like a toolbox item uh, where we have to load it into the program. It is an add-in. So the way you do that is you go to Tools. Uh, you scroll down to Add-ins, which is all the way down here in the bottom. Click on that and click on PhotoView 360 and go to OK. And that should load right away. So what it does is it gives you a tab up here in the pull-down menu. Maybe go in there and you have a, a couple different options up here. The three primary options are Edit Appearance, Edit Scene, and Edit Decal. Now we've already added some appearance to our, our models. And you can see that over here if you go to the, to the Display Manager. And these are all managers over here. You have your Feature Manager, Properties Manager, Configuration Manager, Dimension Expert Manager. That's a test question, by the way. Uh, these are all managers over here. If you go to the display manager, we have uh, all the elements in here that we've uh, applied so far. I think there's a basic background uh, element in here. We can go ahead and change that if we like. And uh, there's also three tabs on the top that we've already applied too. So there's a view parents, view decals, and then a view scenes, lights, and cameras. So let's start over here with the left hand side on, uh, on this top tab up here. Now uh, let's take a look at this. So what I have in my door, and you probably remember this from my videos on uh, putting the door together, I've applied different materials not only to the door but to different uh, bodies within the door. So if we go back to my feature manager and we'll take a look at uh, how the door is broken down, and this is just a reiteration of, our, of the door videos I, I put together, we have uh, three solid bodies. We have uh, my window solid body, which is a green uh, transparent window. I have the door which is uh, the basic door that I, I put together and that has the, the materials associated with it which is oak and then the doorknob I applied a material or appearance to that that makes it look like it's uh, made out of brass so these three elements in here, the primary element being the door, that's the bulk of the, the design down here um, that uh, assumes and is going to have applied to it the oak appearance to it. The window has got the glass appearance to it and I applied a different material to that and then the doorknob's got a different uh, uh, material too. So if we want to find out how to create uh, separate bodies, uh, go to the door videos that I put together and you'll be able to figure that out. So if you have a door that's got uh, a number of different bodies with different appearances to it, this is uh, relevant to you. So if you go to the window uh, as a separate body and go to appearances, you can see what the appearances do. So it kind of goes in a hierarchy here. The body has got a green color to the glass and then below that it's got the oak appearance. So whatever appears on top is going to prevail. So even though the whole model's got the oak uh, appearance to it, it's got the oak material to it, uh, the, the green glass appearance is going to appear for this separate body, which is going to be on top. If I were to remove that by, go, uh, by clicking on that, by removing the green glass, then that becomes oak. It becomes the same appearance as uh, the rest of the door. So I'm going to go ahead and put that back. Same with the doorknob. Well, if you go to the door and go to the same thing, if you go down to appearance, you can see that too. So the body has got no appearance uh, settings to it, so it's going to assume, just going down the hierarchy, it's going to pick up the oak appearance that I have in regard to the material I put on the door. And then the doorknob, same thing, for, uh, right click, or just click on that, you can see the appearance, uh, you know, tab here, just click on that, and pulling that down, you can see that the body's got the brass, edit uh, polished brass, or just polished brass for the material for the body for the doorknob and then uh, the door itself has got the oak appearance too so that's kind of the way that works so if we go back to the appearance or to the display manager we have all of our appearances here and that's uh, what's embedded over here in these uh, three bodies so the body for the door has got the, the oak uh, finish to it the green glass for the window has got that appearance uh, associated with it and the doorknob has got that appearance associated with it so there's a couple different ways to edit this and try to get these uh, the way you would like, but uh, if you want to click on that, it does open up your appearance manager and uh, as part of your uh, appearance scenes and decals over here in your taskbar, you can go ahead and uh, make changes to that. So we can click on that for brush brass instead, go to the green check mark, now we have brush brass for, instead of the polished brass for the, for the doorknob. 
So that's one way to get started. And what we're going to be doing with these videos is just uh, go through all the set-ins. There are a lot of set-ins. There are some set-ins I'm only going to talk about briefly, and some I'm not going to talk about at all. And what we're going to be doing eventually is getting to the point where we can go over here to Photo View 360 and go to this button down here to Final Rendering and get our door set up and looking the way we really like. So thanks for joining me for this first video. There will be a few more videos following this, and we'll talk to you soon.